Okay, so, sorry guys. Um, so, on this side is my craft desk, and I'm just trying to angle the camera better so you can see it. I'm sorry I have to do it this way, but this is the best way to do it. Um, my craft desk is here, and it's filled with stuff. I stand sometimes when I craft, and um, I've been cleaning it up a lot. And as you know, I have a lot of ink. If you've watched any of my videos in my last hauls, I have a lot of ink. So I have this tower right here that's actually on the end of one of the bookcases. And the bookcase is covered. You can't even see it. Um, but it's actually the width of the bookcase, which was lucky for me. I found it at a thrift store. It was $5. And it's a wire stand, see? So at the bottom of this metal stand um, are these two containers that I found at Target in the dollar spot. The bottom one has some wooden stamps. And actually, so does this one. Um, and this are all the Hero Arts inks and Studio Calico inks. So those are all dye inks. And then above it um, is... Uh, another one of those things I got at Target in white, but I altered it with some burlap and some crochet flowers, and it has my Viva Decor paint pens. And then above that is another set of inks. These are all of the um, Heidi Swap inks here. Actually, this is where the Studio Calico ones are. Simon says stamp ones are down here mixed in with the Hero Arts. I think it's the same company. And somebody will probably comment, yes, it's the same company. They have the exact same containers. So how can it not be, right? So Hero Arts and um, Simon Says Stamp ink pads, which are dye inks. Heidi Swap, and then um, Studio Calico, and then these are um, just various ones. Some are Ranger, and some are Sukuniko. These are the ones that I use the most, the black, Sukuniko Tuxedo Black. Okay, so... Um, before I go over to my desk, I'm just going to show you um, what's around it. So these two um, carts are still filled with stuff for altering and card making and punches. These are all punches down this hand, this side right here. Doily punches, Martha Stewart punches. I got a lot of punches. I'm going to stop buying them because I'm not using them as much as I should be. Um, and then on this side are ribbons and trims at the bottom, and there's a um, deep iris case here. This has all of my tilde paper that I've been working on um, for a swap. And then um, up here are altering things and my recollection 6x6 six six cards. Um, and then on top of those two cards is a spinning rack. That's where my stays on ink is. I found that at a thrift store. A whole bunch of... Um, you know, mailing address stamp, handmade by stamp, my, um, what do you call that? Um, those, those pens with the glitter in it, <laughs> I forgot what they're called now. Um, Wink of Stella. Um, and then some milk glass. And these are all like charms and stuff like artichokes and stuff like that in this bowl here and in all this milk glass. And there's some ribbons and trims in these two. And then back behind it is one of those nine um, cube um, storage holders from Recollections. And it has all my Stampin' Up! ink pads in there. So all of these are full of Stampin' Up! inks. And then above it, some more milk glass and um, some more charms and sprays. This is all acrylic sprays. And it may be hard to see that, but I'm going to lift it up. So you can kind of tell. And I can stop holding the camera then. Because I think I'm shaking it. Um, next to that, there's another storage unit sitting on my desk. And in front of the storage unit is one of those baskets that I got from Target. It has my smaller stencils. And back behind it in the actual storage unit are all of my um, pigment inks. So Avery L, Mama Elephant, um... And I had shown this in my um, one of my videos previously, um, Memento Lux inks. So those are all pigment inks in that particular unit. And then to the right of that are a whole bunch of milk glass um, pieces that have like different texture, um, different texture papers, um, some more trims, 
um, there's there's like five or six pieces of milk glass back here um, that are holding things upright. Um, and then there's some baby wipes. And then I'm going to lift you up a little bit. I don't know how I can how far I can go with the camera, but I'm going to try to go in a little closer. Okay, so now I'm standing in front of my craft desk, um, but not right on it. So standing a little bit back still. So as you can see, my craft desk is against a set of windows, and this whole this actual this whole wall here is windows. Um, so I can't hang anything on it. Um, so really, it's it's a problem, but it's a lot of light too. Um, so this is that standing clip it up. It's a big inverted U, basically. Or um, and you can see how I store my. Um, this is chipboard letters and thickers, and this is also thickers, or not just thickers, but letters. These are both of these trays are letters up here, and then my washi tape is in the middle on those pan hangers. And then there's two trays that spin around too. And these there's two trays on this side and two trays on this side. So this set of trays on the left hand side is acrylic daubers and stickles and um, embossing powders and stains, you name it. And then in the middle, is my carousel that has tools in it, more tools, some more ink. Um, so I couldn't fit all of my pigment ink in that um, container to the left hand side. So here's some overflow of ink. And these are the Hero Arts Unicorn ink, pigment inks, and some leftovers of the Avery L Mama Elephant pigment inks. And these are um, Versamark over here, and some Zucanico Brilliance over here. These two carousels, more embossing powders. There's some ink in here. Uh, well, not ink. Um, glitter, glitter on the bottom. And um, I'm gonna see if I can't get around. I don't think I can. I think I'm at the max. Um, this particular holder right here, and I've shown this in a video, this is where all my distress ink is. And what it is, is the three drawers out of my Ginger Adams armoire. I taped them together with duct tape. And they're the exact size of the Distress ink pads. So, all of my Distress ink pads are in three drawers with two extra cubbies. So I have um, acrylic blocks in the other two cubbies and a stamp, a wood stamp for racks. So, um, behind this actual wire rack, um, underneath a shelf, are some more tools and there's like my distressing tool the the zutter distressing tool my little printer the, the little happy printer is sitting underneath that since i don't use it as often um i haven't been scrapbooking in a while so um my desk so you can see underneath my desk because i don't sit at my craft desk here i have stuff stored underneath and this rolling cart is all wild orchid crafts flowers or actually different flowers um, and I can pull it out because it's really light it's from uh, Michaels you guys should be familiar with that one these two are the fridge bins and their stamps sitting on top of that shelf so there's two fridge bins sitting here and this is some of my stamps and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out actually yeah I have to move a box the tilde box and I apologize for the shakiness. Um, so I'm just going to pull it with one hand because it's really not heavy. See down here? And what I do is I have a light, little clip on light that I can turn on. And hopefully that's not too bright for you, but I try not to shine it down in there. So down in here, this is. <laughs> oh boy there's a container down here of little stickers and stuff like that um, let's see if I can get my hand down this is all paper collections and such um, they're in those iris cases the 12 by 12 iris cases because I have um, not just the um, paper pad but all the embellishments that go along with it 
Um, to the left is a basket that has stuff that I don't really use a lot and also a project that I never finished. Um, all of these boxes here are wood stamps. So all the purple and then uh, the cream ones, those are all wood stamps. And there's some more stamps in a double fridge bins here. These are the oversized stamps. And then on the shelf on the back, above the paper um, collections, there's some baskets. And those baskets have tools like um, stuff that I don't use a whole lot, but there's tools and there's um, mica powders and such. The top shelf has like clothespins and oversized clothespins and other stuff. On the right bookcase are more papers at the bottom shelf. This shelf has some flowers and my ink blenders and my Prima chalk edgers. So let me pull out the container. I think I showed this to you guys before. This container is empty. Here is uh, Prima inks. These are all the chalk inks and it's double sided. So I uh, have them in there so you can just store it on one side. Um, and it stands on its own. If I put it on the floor, it'll stand up. Um, this one has all my blenders for Tim Holtz Distress Inks. And then in the back are boxes of flowers. The flowers that you get like at Michael's or in the Prima jars, I took them out of the jars because I had no place to store jars. So that's what's underneath my craft desk. And I will turn this light off. You might be able to see a little bit better. I don't know. And I'm sorry, I don't want to go in too close because it just is too much. Um, okay, so I'm going to see if I can do this. Um, so behind my craft desk is actually a dresser. Um, that we don't use in the bedroom, um, but it's 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 a nice piece. Um, the only thing that's inside the dresser that I actually use is uh, my um, mod melts mod melts is that what it's called mod podge yeah the the sticks and the other thing the ut my melting pot all that stuff is actually in that dresser right behind this piece right here and that's why you see all this height back here so on top of it is another one of those recollections cubes and it has all of my um, card bases and stuff for storing like little plastic bags and for the clip it up and stamp storage and such and I also have my delusion my Diane Reevely stamps and my Tim Holt stamps which come on those white um, acrylic pieces they're in bins over here just sitting on top of the thing so I can flip through them um, and then between my desk and the actual dresser is a whole bunch of stuff that I um, have no place to put because they're it's for altering and it's kind of an odd shaped set of things um, so I won't take you back there there's my ginger Adams craft armoire I plan on painting it the cork part. Well, I'm not going to paint it actually. My husband's going to cut a piece of metal um, and put it over that cork and I'm going to use it as uh, another storage place for um, the, the uh, movers and shapers dies. Um, right now it has the tags that people have made for me and sent in and also some charms hanging on it um, and you notice that they're all blue. Um, so um, these are where the blue stuff is. <laughs> Above it, I actually stored some of my rolls from uh, TJ Maxx over the winter time. They had those rolls. I plan on um, altering some of those rolls after I've used all the ribbon. This is another unit from Ikea. It's actually not an Expedit, but it's got eight cubes. And I'm, I'm sorry, I have to look. I have to look at the um, screen on my monitor because I can see then. Okay, here we go. So this is where this little case here. I've shown it before. If you watch my videos, this is where some of the scrap paper is. It's an iris case. And then behind it, there's eight cubes in the standing bookcase. And my husband put um, casters on it. And they're heavy-duty casters because this unit is really heavy. And it's heavy because all of my dies, not all of them, most of them are in here. So this unit here holds... These are all like spell binders and the smaller wafer thin dies. Then there's some Tim Holtz dies. And even behind here, there's a whole bunch of dies in both these cubes. 
I have a Big Shot Pro, so there's 12 by 12. The big the big dies are in here. Um, and then back in here, some smaller ones. And there's my little sewing machine. I bought a sewing machine for $29. It's it's I only use it for doing um, paper sewing. I don't really sew. I can sew a straight line. Um, and <laughs> I didn't want to spend a whole lot on a sewing machine because I don't use it all that often. So when I sew on paper, that's what I use. Um, some more dies here. And then this is where I store my paper bags, not paper bags, fabric bags. And then there's some more milk glass and ribbons and trims and then stuff. Um, these two bins up here are fabric bins that I got at Marshall's and they collapse. Um, they, they have um, stuff to alter in them. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff to alter and I always think I'm going to do it and I, I never do and it just adds up. There's also another washi tape thing here and I'm really proud of this because my husband made it for me. I don't think I've ever showed it before. So let me see if I can go in. You see it? It's actually held up there with the two handles from the bins um, because I had him put uh, knobs on the end of each side um, and the knobs are what is being held up by the um, th the handles from those bins and so it's just two circles with some dowels stretched between them and it spins around so that's some more of my washi tape um, and then there's you notice that this has a door and two windows, so I can't really hang a whole lot here. You can see the horseshoe up there. That horseshoe is um, something. His grandmother lived in this house, so she put it up there. She was Italian, and um, she put that horseshoe up there. So it's always been up there, over the door. As long as you don't go out the door, you're not going to get hit. But anyway, you can't really open that door anymore, anymore because of the Ginger Adams armoire. But um, that is where... More stuff is, and the dog bed is back behind there, too. Um, so this particular area, which I have also shown before, and I'm going to zoom back out. I'm sorry, guys. It's too close. Let me tell you about the carts first. There's two Ikea carts, two Rascog carts. The one on the left that's gray is all paint, supplies, adhesives, and tags, and yeah. And then the one on the right is all Project Life related. So if I'm doing painting, I just go into that card. If I'm doing Project Life, I just go into that card. So let me zoom out so you can see kind of the big area. And back behind the cart is another dresser. And that dresser I've shown before, it hasn't changed at all. It holds all my Cricut cartridges, my embossing folders, um, and my jewelry making stuff. So all of my beads and such are in that dresser. Um, and then hanging on the wall is a set of shelves. Yep. There's two shelves there and underneath those shelves is a magnetic, is a steel board that has all of my movers and shapers dies. Um, some projects that I, that I've been given are on the top shelf. And then, um, on the bottom shelf are some books and things that I've made. And then um, sitting on top of the dresser are um, two crickets um, and my Big Shot Pro and some more dies. You cannot see the dies because they're actually back behind the Imagine that you see. Um, I have a, a birdcage hanging from the ceiling or from one of those hooks. See it? It has ribbons and trims in it. Underneath that, sitting on top of the Imagine, which I don't use all that often, I use it sometimes, um, are appliques and eyelash trim. Um, and then to the left of my Rascog cart is a big giant bookcase. See it? It has stuff on it, of course. At the top of the bookcase are the O-wires for my Zutter. No, not my Zutter, my Cinch. And then this is the bookcase that has all my paper in it. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around quickly and put the camera back on the mount. So let me cover it up. Sorry guys. I will be done shortly, hopefully. So that you guys don't get all dizzy. 
Okay. So this is uh, the other section. Now this is to the right of my craft desk when I'm sitting where my computer is. Um, so this is a clip, another clip it up. And, and this is a real clip it up, actually. This is the um, double one. And this has more of those um, stamps that you have, the girl stamps. Um, so this is where I keep all of the gorgeous girls and the other non-greeting farm or prima stamps. Um, and they're labeled. You can see those little black tags at the top. They're labeled so I know where to find them. And it's sitting on top of uh, two recollections cubes in my trash cans in front of it. Um, let me actually move that trash can. Okay. So, sorry. Um, down at the bottom of the recollections cubes are the graphic 45 papers that I have. Whoop, right here. Graphic 45 paper. Um, these two boxes are ribbons and trims that I just got from Suha Fuha. And then um, the bottom one is a whole bunch of mixed things. I don't know where to put them, but I bought these boxes at AC Moore. They're really pretty. And then on top, that pink, hot pink um, box, this is all pearl, sticky back pearl. You know, I don't want to call it bling because it's not. It's just the, you know, the pearl stuff. Um, and then this is a whole thing of um, flowers. Um, I showed this before in a different video, but this is all flowers. These um, come from Ikea, and you can create your own configuration of this, and it, you can buy casters for it. So if I want to get into my paper stash, I just roll these out of the way and go into the bookcase back there, because this whole bookcase is paper. So if you guys think from my de-stashing that I didn't have any paper left. You're wrong. This whole bookcase is full of paper. <laughs> um, plus, I've got some on the outside of the bookcase, so I had plenty of paper that I had to, to um, do something with. Um, you can actually see a um, piece that Jamie Lola made for me. She's Poet Spice here on YouTube. Hi, Jamie, if you're watching. Um, your piece hangs right here. I actually have to raise it up now that I have all this stuff in front of it. Um, but it's been hanging here since she, got, she made this for me. Um, this is a whole bunch of stamps that I have yet to put away. I've purchased them and I have not put them in the Avery L sleeves yet. I will do that. And then these are a whole bunch of the iris cases. So the, these iris cases fit in the double fringe bit, fridge bins. And let me see if I can grab one out. So right here are a whole bunch of things that I bought from um, Christina's shop. Christina 95901. Oh my god, I remember the numbers. Um, her shop on, I think it's Zibit. Um, her card might even be in here. But anyway, um, I didn't know where to put them, so I put them in here for now in these 5x7 containers. So if anybody has the double fridge bins that Jennifer, Jennifer McGuire has shown on her videos, they fit these um, iris cases. And I think 12. I'm short one. I think there are 12 that will fit deep. Um, and then on top of that is a box of Stampin' Up! ink pad um, thing um, that has wood mounted stamps on it, in it and some, some of the Avery L pockets which I have to put my stamps away. So um, the only thing I did not really show you is right here in front. See here's my printer my other the middle bookcase is non-crafty it's all office stuff um but it, this is where the whoop this is where the some of the matchboxes are from my challenge these are the smaller matchboxes the small ones like that size even though that's not what it looks like so these are the smaller ones i didn't want them to get lost in the big big set of matchboxes and then that's where my iris um, containers are those ones with the four by six containers inside of them. You notice I, I labeled them at the bottom so I can actually read them from here. This one's empty. Um, but that I have four of them. This one I just bought, but um, these are full of things and I've labeled them for what they are. Um, so that is my craft room. And um, I think the only thing I didn't really show you. Um, 
on this bookcase here, whoop, on this bookcase here, on the on the side is actually a whole bunch of tags that people have made for me, and the tags are from one of my challenges, the vintage postcard challenge. Also, there are cards, so any cards that people make for me, I put them on this, and then I rotate them out when I get new ones. Um, like I think right now it's all the February ones um, from the um, swap that I hosted. Um, in front of my desk, which you cannot see, are two plastic bins. And those plastic bins hold my Christmas papers um, and supplies. Oh my god, Christmas. It's all Christmas in there. Oh my god, I think one of them is just paper. Because the paper was on sale. There's no way I'm going to be able to use that all the paper. But anyway, so this is my um, craft tour. And I hope that you all enjoyed it. Um... And um, if you have any questions about anything I've shown, just leave a comment below. And thanks for watching. Bye.